Good morning. How are you doing? I am driving and I'm just radiant today. I don't know what's happening, but I feel great. Maybe it's the sun. Maybe it's the fact that my hair kind of turned out crinkly like I wanted it. Or maybe it's the fact that I am by the sea again. But it doesn't matter because we're going to go on a mission today and it's going to be friggin' glorious. So let's do it. To start with, we're going to go and get this gas bottle because I have been really lazy and haven't done it for a few days. Why, you may ask? I don't know. I just ran out of gas like a few days ago and now I've only just decided to go and, you know, get it, get a new one. It's like, it's just, the, the, I just hate doing it. Here, let me show you the gas bottle installation process in a van. I know, nobody, nobody get too excited, all right? Just, just calm down, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, okay? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> right, let's just make this quick. <laughs> Okay, so apparently there's supposed to be a Mr. Bricolage around here somewhere. I'm not seeing this Mr. Bricolage. This sat nav says there's all these shops and not one exists. Have I entered a ghost town? Is this a town of the ghosts? Not to be dramatic, but this is the best day of my life. I just found a load of bins. Job complete. Let's continue. Where is my key? Nah, I refuse to believe that I've thrown it in the bin. Okay, found it in the back. As per usual, this key gets lost about 11 times a day, so that's really great. Really great stuff. OJ break. Mmm, perfection. Let's continue. Ooh, that's a converted van. Doesn't look it, but it is. I'm like an expert at spotting them. I can see through any van whether it's a camper van or not. It's a special talent I have acquired. A very, very unuseful one, but a talent nonetheless. Look how cute that car is. Oh, fuck, I almost, almost drove into the pavement because of that, but oh, that's sexy. And uh, the blue is just perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive one of those soon. I'm going to buy one. And I don't know how, because I don't have a place to store it. But I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one and it's gonna be freaking marvelous. Oh, guys, I found the Mr. Bricolage. And it shot. Shit. Okay, it looks like they have some. It looks a little bit ropey, but we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. La da. so sweet that's so funny bless him right okay let's let's go i found a nice place by the river which we're gonna go to but um yeah let's go let's go let's go <laughs> <Merci. laughs> that was funny all the guys in there were absolutely freaking nuts and i love it <laughs> i'm hoping that this river place is going to be good again i am freaking immeasurably warm right now so I'm really hoping that it's just going to be a nice, cool place with some shade. We're really, really going to hit the jackpot with spaces today, okay? I've said it now. We've got to do it. We've got to do it, right? That's cool. Ford Transit work van. 
She is just incredible. Guys, I don't know what to do. I really like it here. I think it's really nice. I want to check out the water because I have a feeling that the water is actually going to not be the best. I feel like this is very much like a fishing area, not a swimming area because I can see like loads of algae and stuff and I don't, I don't know if I want that in my life. Whoa. Mosquitoes. Oh. This is not a good sign. You see all of those mosquitoes? They're on the outside. Ew. Oh, oh, hell no. Hell no. Okay, I actually cannot stay. <laughs> no, it's really nice. Okay, we'll, we'll go and suss out the situation, even though I think it's going to be really bad. Okay. Help. Come with me. Come with me. Okay. I might stay here for a little while because I don't know, it's just quite nice and it took quite a lot of effort to get in here so maybe like an hour or something could be nice Right, okay, let's do that There's people just rowing stuff to and from this island It's kind of strange, it feels a bit um, tribal Literally, there's the entire place and this guy has to come right here. There's literally miles and miles of free space. That's really fucking weird. Alright, before we go, at least we can um, do the gas. check that it works because that would be truly disappointing if it did. oh my god that literally took so much mental energy it takes like five seconds to do but like it took me a few days to want to want to want to wanna get it but... okay so we're just gonna move this place looks cute So found this beach. It's so much better than the other place. I mean, the sun's gone in a bit now and now it's just like really muggy. But other than that, brilliant, brilliant vibes. I am a little bit scared to do my door handles because I'm so used to my cacti, little gold cactuses, you know the ones. And I got these pink ones and I'm just scared that it's like, it's gonna be too much of a change for me. So I'm gonna wait to do them till the evening because the sun's gonna go in and I wanna cook my oats outside. Although I have just installed the gas and it has come through. I don't know, I kinda like cooking outside. It's something quite therapeutic about it and I don't know why, but it's, it's a great experience. So let's make my oats outside. Plus it's also nicer out here because, hello, let's make some oats. Come. I really like cooking outside. It's my new thing, even though it was accidental. Right? Would be good if I had the pan. mosquito I just got off me. Look how much blood was attached to it. Ew! I hadn't actually got any bites and now I just caught one so we're gonna perfume. <laughs> okay if they still get me after this I'm taking this back. I have full faith in this. Oats are almost ready. They're actually a little bit. Actually no they're kind of perfect. <laughs> Ooh, okay, the mosquitoes seem to be flying around, so this spray is working. All right, so I have your questions on it from Instagram, so I thought I'd answer maybe like three. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this gets us. Okay, van life question number one. What's the weirdest thing about van life? 
The weirdest thing I think is how used to it you get. You get used to living in a van really quickly. And okay, this may be subjective to me. I haven't lived the most conventional lifestyle in terms of housing. So to me, a van was a pretty, e not, it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna say easy, but like adapting to a new kind of way of living was, wasn't something that was new to me. So I found it relatively easy. It's just weird how used to the lifestyle you get, like just finding places to sleep most nights. It's such a strange concept. But yeah, I think that probably is the weirdest thing. It's just, I mean, right now I'm just living here temporarily. I mean, it's kind of strange, don't you think? But also kind of wonderful. Another question I got quite a lot was, is full-time van life something that anybody can do or do you have to be like specifically suited to it or have something about you which makes you suited to it? I think the interesting thing about van life is nearly everybody you talk to will have a very specific reason and story behind why they live in a van. Okay, so some people will live in a van because it allows them to travel around to do something they love, like a hobby, let's say cycling or rock climbing or surfing. Um, there are people who van life means that they can travel full time and that's what they love to do. Some people live in a van because they don't have another choice. Some people live in a van out of minimalism. Some people live out of a van for fun. It, it depends on your personal circumstances, but I moved into a van because I wanted somewhere to live and an adventure because, yeah, I didn't necessarily have that normal house that everybody had. Well, not everybody, but most people I knew had. So to me, once I'd stayed in a caravan for a while, I was like, why not move into a van? My plan was kind of a tiny house, but you know, a van is a tiny house. So my answer would be yes, I think anybody can do it, but it depends on the circumstances. Van life is a tough one. It's a tough one. It depends on what money you have. If you don't have a lot of money and you're living in a self-built van and you're alone and you don't really enjoy outdoor activities that much, you're gonna hate it quite a lot for a bit until you can make your situation better. I'm just gonna be honest. But yeah, if you don't have frequent access to a shower, that is gonna be a struggle for you. If you're alone, that's gonna be a struggle for you. This stuff might not necessarily be a struggle initially, but it will become one, inevitably, inevitably. And lastly, what would you change about your van? If I could change anything about Gloria, what would I change? At the moment, I'm going through a phase where I'm like, it would be fun to convert a bus because I'm struggling with the space in Gloria. I'm finding it a little bit hard to live in now. You know, I wanna be dancing. I like dancing, I like it. You know, if you ever wonder why I have bruises on my legs, I went through a very bad phase of bruises. It's the kitchen doorknobs that I was just like bashing into, you know? So yeah, I, I think I would change the shower somehow. I'd modernize Gloria so everything was more comfortable. The shower doesn't have a mixer tap so the water comes through really hot. I've kind of figured out how to balance it now, but you know, it wasn't fun for a while. So things feel a little DIY in it. I would just say that. So I would probably just modernize everything. I really like the layout of my van. I think it's great, but I, th I think I just need a bit more space and just it to be easier to clean and just a better shower. I just wanted to say thank you so much for always being here. Like, I don't say it enough, but I'm so grateful for everything. And I'm so grateful that you turn up every week if you do. And I just, I wanna say thank you. Thank you to all of you. This has been a real adventure so far. And yeah, I just, I've been really reflecting lately and I'm, I'm so grateful for everything so thank you and for all your love and support always in whatever way i just thank you all right the time has come let's do it let's just do the broken one first the funny thing about building your own van is that you kind of learn that everything's just not that complicated to do like, I would never have known how to put a door handle on. Now I realize it's actually really easy. You just drill a hole and put this screw thing through and then 
there's like little bolts and then it's it's done so if you want to build your own van you'll be fine honestly you you can do it you'll be surprised how it, it's not as scary as you thought it was so if you want some encouragement there you go, it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. I'm gonna need my Swiss Army knife for this. Okay, we got them. Oh, my poor nail polish is really suffering today. Look how cute this view is, by the way. It's so cozy, because you can see all the lights. Damn it, this is so much effort. Here we go. Six hours later. Right, let's see if the new ones even fit. Oh my god, it fits. literally still spinning. The hole in the woods actually the problem. How do I feel about that? Do I like that new look or do I prefer my gold? I think I prefer the gold. But I kind of bought them now and I feel like I could, I don't know, maybe do with it like a refresh. Well, I mean at least the door handle doesn't come off so that's a plus. Okay let's go. is my arm. What do you think? Does that look weird? Oh, I feel weird having different doorknobs. Oh, that feels so weird. It kind of doesn't hurt your hand to open <laughs> the door. The cacti kind of hurt a little bit. But then these are kind of cute and they actually function as doorknobs. Maybe if I clean the door it would help. Maybe I should have repainted the doors actually. All right, let's just do this one as well. It's just we have three of the same or three of the same. jump forward in time i just drove 45 minutes to a vet because she was just bobbling all over the place like there were a lot of kind of fish baity things around i tried to clear everything out of the way i don't think i did she has clearly gone and eaten those whilst i wasn't looking which is to be honest my fault but she just eats everything anything that she's not supposed to eat she she wants to eat it and I didn't realize and then she was on the bed and I was looking at her and she was fine and then I kind of like looked a bit closer at her and she just looked a bit weird and I was like she never looks like that like I just examined her a bit more and she was kind of like like she was like jerking around she just looked paranoid it was the weirdest thing and her eyes just looked a little strange like they were flicking everywhere and I was like oh god what have you eaten so I just drove to the vet. Of course it's at night, so it's the emergency vet. They had to phone everything for first. Very stressful. But she's actually fine. I went in there and they were like, yeah, she's just eaten something she shouldn't have. She hasn't got like a fever or anything. They gave her something. You know, I never take her to the vet. And this time I was like, ah, I think I need to take her to the vet. Literally broke everything in my van because I drove across the, um, you know, that landscape from earlier. I literally like straight lined it across it and oh, I think I've broken everything in the back. I can't wait to go look and see what I need to rebuy. But yeah, long story short, she's actually okay. She has a shitty tummy and I'm uh, 150 euros down. Oh, all for you, you little turd. I have actually always wanted to visit Marseille, but I just didn't want to leave my van. But since I'm here, I mean, why not? I just need to check it out. It's supposed to be really nice. There's a place really central, so we'll check it out. When you're trying to park a van and anything in a city, it's just so much easier to come at night because there are actually spaces. During the day, it's just utter carnage and, oh no. Okay, I found this space. It doesn't seem to be too bad. There's another camper van over there. And, um, I don't know. It looks kind of chill, I guess. Ew. I 
I didn't even get to finish putting my my door handles on. I put two on out of six, so we need to finish that. Oh, my stuff's on my bed. I just want to go to sleep. Look at her. She's just she's just chilling. Like nothing happened. Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff that is. Literally. Oh my god. About to say I'm beginning to wreck my chandelier and I've just realized there's a lot of mosquitoes. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? There are so many, I don't want to die. Oh no! Buy a swap. Oh shit, just cause mayhem. Oh, I can hear them buzzing. That high pitch crap. Good night. Morning. I survived the night. I'm pretty proud with this. Yeah! <laughs> She's okay. Peace has been restored. I think we're just going to the city center today. I'm kind of feeling that. I don't want to stay here for very long, but I do. I'm intrigued by Marseille. I am. I'm intrigued. We're going on a very short excursion, so I honestly don't want to leave the van. No, I'm so excited this morning because I actually have a kettle. Yay! I mean, I actually I have gas, not a kettle. I have a kettle, it's not the gas. Okay, what do we wear? What do I wear? The age old question, what do I wear? Okay, what do you think? I just look like a target. I look like, I look too nice. I need to look like I can at least throw a punch, you know? But I'm really trying to move into my feminine energy. You know, I, have, I literally am never in my feminine energy and now I'm really trying to, to, to bring her out and make her feel okay. Honestly, I used to walk around looking a little bit like a bank teller because I just, I've always been in such a masculine energy. Now I'm trying to move into my feminine energy. I didn't even know this was a thing. But maybe here isn't the place to do it, but I don't know, I like this dress, so. I actually just spilled coffee all down it. Okay, it's fine. Maybe that's the universe telling me to wear something else. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to change. That's really not gonna dry well is it okay what do you think <laughs> I feel like a weird runway model it's kind of hell it went yeah we're gonna save this for another day I'm too hot all right here's my hair and here's my coffee soap dress all right ah In business back in the van all is good crystal chandelier still here no doors have been broken into so I'm feeling just very grateful for that yeah there's also a cafe so if you can hear voices it's just because there's like a cafe all literally just outside my window anyway um Marseille was nice I kind of I kind of like that experience you know I'm more of a Saint Tropez gal because there's no rats there and like rubbish but you know, Marseille's great. It's still a nice place. It has it has buildings and boats and that's always really fun. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's quite nice here, really. Yeah, Gigi's fine. Everything's fine. 
she's recovering life's all good i gotta finish the doorknobs which i am gonna love doing tonight oh wait wait wait, wait. i almost forgot i almost forgot Where is it? i did a little bit of shopping bought many fun items got fun swimwear that i can't wait to wear i uh, got a load of hair accessories because how cute is that gonna be oh also got a matching hair clip I also got a beautiful body oil. All right, but the real star of the show is... It's a middle finger sun thing, and it like wiggles around, and it goes, it goes on the dashboard. So I'm really looking forward to um, install this. It is freaking marvelous. <gasps> ah. Let's put it in the sun. It's literally doing it, okay. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, I will see you next next Friday. I hope I hope you have a great week and uh, yeah.